you all ever wonder what happens when the countdown ends and I'm not here to say it's time to go live. <laughs> that <laughs> that is what happens. Hey, Mary, I'm going to give this to you because I'm going to envision that folks are going to ask who's here with me. Okay. Just clip it on the collar of your shirt. <sighs> Happy Friday. I am done adulting today. I am done. It is Christmas vacation. My friend Mary is here. Everybody say hi, Mary. Okay, Mary, say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Good. We got her mic working, so that's awesome. So tonight is going to be my virtual holiday party. And what that means is about every 15 minutes or so, I'm going to give away a raffle in the chat. So you want to be here throughout the whole thing. I'm going to go over what the rules of that are. So between now and 10 p.m. for the whole two hours that I'm live, about every 15 minutes, I'm going to give away a mystery gift. So a total of eight prizes will be given away. These are the rules. You have to be here at the, you have to be here to enter for each one of the eight raffles. One ticket does not get you entry into all eight of them. You have to be watching live on Friday, December 23rd at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time through 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. The replay does not count. So if you're watching it any other time, I'm sorry, but this isn't for you. But don't worry, there are other giveaways that I do on my channel that are not always live streams. So don't feel like you're missing out. Just make sure you subscribe to the channel and you pay attention to the I may post a video where I talk about a giveaway. When I do the raffle, the chatbot is not going to be able to keep up with your name or your comments. It's going to try. Actually, the chatbot keeps up. YouTube can't keep up with the chat. So you might not get acknowledgement from the chatbot that says that you got a ticket. It doesn't mean you didn't get a ticket. You got one. Just trust the process. If you are worried that you didn't get one, the best way to check is to enter the command again. And if you didn't get one, the which you probably did, but if you want to see if you didn't get one, the chatbot will tell you that you got a ticket or it'll tell you that you already had one. So that's all of that. When I pull a winner, I tell the chatbot to pick the winner. When the chatbot announces a winner, it's going to tag you. And I need you to reply and acknowledge that you are claiming your prize. And then you will email me at my email address, Becca at SoBecca.com. And all that information can be found on my website in case you're trying to figure it out or you can do exclamation Becca in the chat and that'll give you all my contact information. But you have to email me by Christmas morning. So Sunday morning, don't care what time because Monday I'm going to ship these out. You're gonna get your prize after Christmas. There's no two ways about it. It is open worldwide, but I reserve the right to send you something electronic or a postcard because what I have to give away are a number of different things. They're mystery prizes. Some of them are e-gifts. Some of them are quilted postcards that I have made from me to you. Some of them are notions or fabric or some other fun thing. I don't know yet what they're going to be. I'm going to pick them at random with my, with help from my friend Mary tomorrow. Um, but it is open worldwide, so I do want to cover that. I think I've covered everything. You have to be here to get your ticket. You have to be here to claim your prize. There are a total of eight prizes being given away tonight. I think I've covered everything. Is there anything that I should have covered, Mary, that I didn't? I can't think of anything. Okay. Well, with that said, we're going to go ahead and get started with the very first giveaway. This one, I'm going to pull the draw in six minutes time because we got started a little bit late and I want to draw at 8.15. So this very first one is only going to be about six, seven minutes long, but the rest of them will be 15 minutes to get your ticket. So let me just double check one more thing before we do this. Hold on. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da. It's probably going to be more like five minutes by the time I'm ready for it. <laughs> Don't do anything yet. <laughs> All right. Um, all right. So the exclamation, the command that you're going to need is exclamation gift. All one word, no spaces on a line by itself. You have five minutes to get your first ticket. And while you are doing that, I want to say hi to everybody. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Happy Kwanzaa. 
happy Hanukkah, happy whatever it is you celebrate, happy end of the year, happy holidays. I am so, so, so excited for a few days off to sit in my quilty room and do some sewing with some friends and to hang out with you guys tonight. So you see my little headband on? I walked out of the room and I went to get a cup of water. And when I walked out there, my daughter's sitting on the couch and she goes, well, look at you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's, um, I'm really excited about that. I am going to be working on something really easy tonight. I've got two charm packs of this vintage holiday fabric, which I'll show you in the overhead camera. This is from Bonnie and Camille. It's a couple years old. I only have two charm packs of this left. It is a colorway that I just absolutely love. I bought this when I first started quilting and it's been sitting on my shelf forever and I haven't known what I wanted to do with it. So I think tonight what I'm going to do is cut these into two and a half inch squares and make patchwork placemats. I won't finish them all on the live stream tonight. For those of you that don't know what the patchwork placemats are, I did a live stream of this last year. Basically, I take one charm pack and I cut it into four piles of two and a half inch squares and I just sew each pile of two and a half inch squares into like, a, I think it's six rows of seven columns. So all 42 go in. And then I can add some border fabric on it if I want to, but I usually just quilt that and then bind that. And it's a small placemat, but it is a placemat. My table, when it is fully expanded, seats eight. So one charm pack is going to make four. So I have two. So I can have eight charm packs from this or eight placemats from this fabric. And the nice thing about this is I will still remove them from my table when I set food on it because this fabric is out of print and I don't want to spill spaghetti sauce on the back. Or I'll use the trick that you guys taught me last week and I will just flip the placemat over. Ooh, let me fix this. I, um, we got the sewing machine coming oh, through, so I want to get want to get that noise suppression. I think I got that one. Nope. It's noise gate, I think is what I want. Let's see if that will help. We'll see when she starts sewing. So there's lots of people that are in the chat tonight. I am happy that you are all here and the chat is going crazy because everybody's trying to get their gifts. So I can't really see anything, but I'm going to go ahead and get started. So what I'm going to do is go to the overhead camera and I'm going to pull out a charm pack. I'm going to move my cup over here. I'm going to pull out a charm pack. I'm just going to, once you rip the label on this, I feel like there's no going back. Am I re really ready to do this? Like, yes. Okay, here it comes. <laughs> oh, no, there's no going back now. <laughs> okay. So I'm not going to worry about, um, I'm not going to worry about how the fabric is laid out. I don't. I don't want to overthink the placement of the fabric and I'm not going to necessarily require that all of them are in the same order, but I do want to get these fabrics cut. So I have my four piles of two and a half inch squares. So I'm just going to start cutting. Ah, I feel like I pulled off too many stacks of the charms because I'm like, I'm over here doing the seesaw thing with your rotary cutter, which is never a good sign. I'm just gonna set these here. Three, four. Hello, Ian. Hi, Ian. Is everybody ready for Christmas morning? There we go. <laughs> Melissa says, I love your laugh. It's so cheerful. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I think. <laughs> you either laugh or cry. So I choose to laugh. And uh, for those of you that are curious, yes, I am still in my pajamas today. I haven't changed out of them, nor have I done my hair. <laughs> That's how you know it's really the holiday season. 
<laughs> oh no, VR just found out his found out his son-in-law is C positive. So it's just gonna be uh her and her mm. husband and the dog for Christmas this year. Well, you can always celebrate afterwards. That's what I'm doing with my family. My in-laws are coming on Christmas Day. We're going to celebrate with them. And then my mom will come on Thursday and we'll celebrate next weekend with Mama and uh, one of my two sisters who is in the area and her kids. See? Tom Buck says I don't get this finished by Christmas morning. <laughs> <laughs> Sean says keeping it real absolutely so Sean uh, for those of you that don't know has a major collab that's hitting the airwaves tomorrow morning I think this is in place of his Brecky with Sean that normally live streams on Saturday mornings he has gotten a ton of content creators together to talk about some of their favorite quilts and so he's kind of doing like this YouTuber trunk show. If you guys want to check that out, make sure you subscribe to his channel. Sean, if you want to go ahead and toss in your exclamation Sean command, that'll give everybody a link over to your channel and they can check out your video tomorrow morning. I think it's going to drop at like 8 a.m. What's going on? The tension's not right on the top. It looks good on the bottom, but the tension's not right on the top. Make sure the machine's yeah. threaded properly. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I feel like every time somebody comes over and uses that machine, <laughs> it wants to play. Yep. It wants to act up, but it was working yesterday. Sean says, yes, it will start at 8 a.m. And I did actually do, I chatted with him. So I am in the video. I showcased a couple of quilts that I liked um, that I've made, I think two or three. And I think my portion airs around 8.50. So it's going to be a pretty lengthy video. I think this is taking place of his... Uh, Brecky with Sean, so I would expect it to. Is it going to be a premiere, Sean? So will there be a live chat component to it? Okay. The We're going to pick our first winner. So remember, to be here, you have to claim your prize by responding. So Holly Dazed is our first winner. I'm waiting for Holly Dazed to acknowledge that she claims her prize or his prize. And then once I get that thumbs up from Holly Dazed, then I will uh, move on to the next one. Just waiting for Holly Dazed to acknowledge. Mm. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> okay. Uh, somebody was asking me, how is the weather in my neck of the woods? It's okay. Yay, Holly Dazed. Okay, email me with your physical mailing address at Becca at SoBecca.com, and we'll get your prize out to you after Christmas. We're going to complete this one, and we're going to pick a new one. So here comes the next giveaway. We're going to pick the next winner at 830. So we're going to give you 10 minutes to pick your, to get your prize. There we go. Uh, how is, VR says, how is the weather in your neck of the woods in Michigan? It's freezing and very bad roads. Um, I, I haven't seen anything actually. It's that great. <laughs> it's freezing cold. <laughs> it is freezing cold. It is very, very windy, but um, I don't know. It's, it, we have no snow. There's been people that have lost power though. So there is that. Okay, I'm just going to start piecing all of these. I'm going to make six rows of seven and then put those together. I could web piece this if I wanted to make it go a little bit faster. I think I will do that. Why not? I'm not overly worrying about the um, 
the fabric placement. I'm just putting them together. The only thing I am going to try to do is not touch two of the same fabrics that are the same colorway. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, wait, one, two, three, four, this is four. Two fabrics in the same row does not make the row count twice. <laughs> wow, Jenny! Jenny fell. No, Jenny, stay. Oh, no. <laughs> One, two, three, four. <laughs> Poor Jenny. Five. This fabric definitely, re why did I do that? I just cut my thread. I'm trying to web piece and I just cut my thread. That's, I'm just gonna go back over, take a couple stitches so that everything's connected again. Web piecing basically is just chain stitching all of everything together. It keeps all of my little pieces nice and organized and tidy so I don't have to worry about what, like it's all, it all stays together because all the threads are still connected. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. And because I took the time to count off six, now all I have to do is just open these up and I can start adding onto each row. And because six times seven is 42, and that's how many pieces of fabric I have in this little pile, I don't have to think. I just have to pick up a fabric and add it to each row and keep stitching all the way down. That makes this project really easy for me to chat with you guys and help you get tickets and talk to Mary and <laughs> do all the fun things. Oh, see, I got two greens here and I'm not going to worry about that. After all the looking for the even feet foot, I'm just gonna put the regular foot back on. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. I will say that machine does a pretty good job of, um, like keeping everything nice and tidy, even without the even feed when I'm quilting on it. Oh, good. <laughs> so you should be okay. You shouldn't need it. Okay. Of course, I think the Aria, the baby lock machine that I have is mad at me because I put her in the corner last year and haven't really played with her very much. So, you know, it's all, it's all a, who knows what she'll do tonight. Maybe she'll <laughs> listen. Maybe she won't. <laughs> we'll find out. Yeah, we'll find out. Hello, Vicki. What machine is Mary sewing on? Cindy West wants to know. She is sewing on my Baby Lock Aria. This is the machine that I predominantly sewed on until I got my Juki this time last year. I thought I was going to need a second sewing machine because I thought my mom was going to want to sew more because she kept saying, I think I want to sew when I come up there with you. And do you know how many times she's sewn on that machine? Zero. Once. Once. Oh. <laughs> Once. So I didn't need the second machine after all. But it is really nice. I will say it is really nice to have a second machine there. That way if friends come over, like Ian came to stay and he had a machine to sew on. Mary's here. She has a machine that she can sew on. Like we all, they, I have a second workstation set up. So for that reason, it's worth it. Oh, Merry Christmas, Katie. Thank you for that tip. I appreciate that. Yay. <laughs> Katie gave me a $20 tip. Awesome. Yeah. Merry Christmas. You guys, does everybody have all their holiday shopping done? Mary, you better have all your holiday shopping I done do. here for the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> I got a, I took my Bargello quilt that I did with Donna on her channel and I loaded it on the long arm today and I finally bit the bullet and quilted it. And I just did an all over loop, a uh, loop meander mixed in with some, uh, flowers. My sister-in-law 
<laughs> Ian says it was nice to sew on it while I was there. <laughs> See? Yeah. Yep. Um it, it sorry, my sister-in-law came a couple of weeks ago and well, not a couple of weeks ago. I think it was actually it was back in October. Oh my goodness. She put in her order for this back in October. <laughs> she was here yeah, she was here at the end of October, right be, right around Halloween time, and she was looking through the quilts that are on my quilt rack waiting to be quilted, and she was like, I want this one, and she pulled out the Bargello. I was like, okay, and it is it is very much a quilt that she would want. It speaks amber, like definitely, and nothing like waiting till the last minute, December 23rd, I quilted it. <laughs> But she got it done. <laughs> I did. I just got to pull it off the long, long arm, square it up, and uh, put the binding on it. And I'll be doing that tomorrow and make a custom label for it. Uh, Martha, thank you. Martha sent a $9.99 tip. She said, thank you so much, Becca. Merry Christmas. You're welcome. Thank you for the tips. All these Christmas gifts are going to have me in Starbucks every day for a little while. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I have to treat Mary to a Starbucks. She bought me Starbucks the past couple of times. <laughs> Guys are all buying Mary and I both some Starbucksies. <laughs> this, like I said, the hardest part of this is just making sure that you count out the first six, and then after that, it's just mindless sewing. If you do web piecing, you don't have to count or remember how many you you have. Everything's here. You just keep sewing till you run out of fabric. Oh, that turned out nice. Okay. See, cool. it's got yeah. a good stitch on it. Doesn't yeah, it, it does. Yeah. Awesome. The hardest thing with it is just get finding how to get your quarter inch on it. And if you don't, because if you don't sew on that machine regularly, uh -huh. you've got to learn it just like you do every other yep. machine, right? Exactly. What's on your head? Did Ian leave some of his costumes? Debbie Dunn wants to know. <laughs> 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 no, he did not. I have Christmas lights. He's in the holiday yeah. spirit. Jingle, jingle, jingle. Yay. <laughs> I did have another headband that has elf legs that are upside down, but they have bells on them. Where, where did I put that headband? Are you talking about the one you gave me? Yeah. I, I oh, it's right there, Mary. It's right there. It's on top on the shelf. Turn left. Close the door before Beetlejuice comes. I see. Yeah. Close. The door's closed. Okay. So Mary's got here. I'll make get down in the camera. There you go. <laughs> it looks like it, it looks like the Wicked Witch of the West. <laughs> I found these at Joanne's. Both of them. They're very. Cute. They're both top heavy. They're not good quality headbands. Yeah. And it keeps slipping off of my silky hair. <laughs> yeah, mine's mine's a little slippery too. Yeah. Um, but I think I have a fat head, so it's helping <laughs> hold it up a little bit. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, hey, there goes the piece of white in here. This is exactly where Zoe's going to plop a spaghetti meatball. <laughs> That's what'll happen with this one. Cindy West said, that's adorable. <laughs> adorable. Oh my gosh. You know, I was going through old videos on the, uh, that I had and I came across one of Zoe telling jokes. Oh yeah. <laughs> and they were all stupid puns, but she had, so I've talked about this before, I think, but I feel like I was a horrible parent for a minute there <laughs> because I just, like, my daughter wasn't reading the world. You know, where when kids are in cars, they're like, what's that? What's that? What's that? And then they start seeing letters, and they start saying the letters and the words. Well, she wasn't doing that. And I was like, okay. Well, it was about second grade where we finally realized that she needed glasses, and she just didn't need glasses. She needed, like, if it wasn't this far in front of her face, she was not seeing it. And as soon as we got her in a pair of glasses, it was like, instantly she just came alive <laughs> and she started reading and I, I have videos of her on my phone where she started reading these uh dad jokes that we got her from like a joke book and there <laughs> I don't remember the joke but the punchline was adora bull <laughs> <laughs> it was something like what did the why did the cow fall in love because he was adora, adora bull. bull something like that it was 
so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and her look when she did it too, like she looked over the top of her glasses at you, and the, she was like, "Adora bull." <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's pick our winner for the second gift tonight. Remember, you have to be here when it picks your name. Barb Olson is our winner tonight. Barb, if you could just comment in the chat, let me know that you got it. You got, you see your name. And once I see that you have, that has happened, then we'll do a new one. And if you're not here, I'll give you two minutes. <laughs> If you're not here, we'll go help. Oh, we'll go ahead and uh, move on. John Sheridan says 999 says, Merry Christmas. Thanks for all the great videos. Thank you so much, John. <laughs> Barb Olson, we're waiting to see if you are in the chat. Barbara. Baba. Yahoo, she says. All right, Barb, don't forget to email me your physical mailing address at Becca at SoBecca.com and I will ship out your gift or get your gift to you after the holidays. Let's go ahead and start a new one. This one, we're going to set the timer for 15 minutes. This will get us back on that track. So don't feel like you have to rush to get your ticket right away. There is a little bit of time. You've got 15 minutes before the next entry closes. And for my moderators that are in the chat, you guys are able to play too. So Ian, Tiffany, Teresa, all of my mods that are usually here, please feel free to grab a ticket. You guys are welcome to participate in this as well. I, I know sometimes like I don't always enter giveaways when I'm watching a live stream because I, I don't know I don't know how I feel about that. Sometimes I do. I think it depends on whether or not like how close I am with the content creator, maybe. I don't know. Um, but if you're questioning whether or not you should, you should. <laughs> <laughs> I think Tiffany enters them anyway, and I know Teresa does. So <laughs> I guess I don't really need to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> but heads up, Tiffany, if the raffle picks you, you're getting a very large box of stuff. <laughs> That's been sitting by my door for about... Sitting right behind me. Gosh, how long did I have that there, Mary? Oh, a couple of months. <laughs> At least, yeah. It's been a minute. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. I see what you mean about the, the, um, it's the, um... The quarter inch? The quarter inch thing, yeah. It's hard to see... I do have a quarter is. inch foot in that bag of goodies. With, it won't help with this because oh, I'm gotcha. quilting on a um, You're, okay. stocking. I'm sewing up against uh, um, painter's tape. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, Becky Bramlett said, I had a friend years ago and her, oops, come back, come back, come back <laughs> to me. Becky Bramlett says, I had a friend years ago and her first glasses she got, she watched ants. No clue they were even there in the grass because she couldn't see them. Glasses are wonderful. Y'all, my daughter is 12 years old and she wears progressive lenses. True story. <laughs> In fact, I, I think I remember you telling me that that story when I first met you. Yeah. And uh, because I told you the story about how I got um, ear, hearing aids in my ears and didn't realize the stairs creaked. Yeah. <laughs> she Zoe didn't read like she just started reading the world and it it helped tons. <laughs> it was. I, I remember the day that I realized that she needed glasses. I had gone in for my eye checkup and I got, I only used to, I, I only had to wear glasses for like driving and distance, though I used to wear them kind of all the time. But then after I had Zoe, I stopped wearing them all the time because she kept smudging them. And so I was like, okay, this is stupid. And then would you believe it? My eyes actually got good enough that the eye doctor told me I only like, 
I didn't really need them except for very, very slightly in one eye. He said I almost didn't even qualify for the glasses. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was really weird how that happened. So I think, I think maybe whatever. I don't, I don't know how it happened, but it happened. I swear to you. <laughs> and then a few years after Zoe's a few years old, she's in school and I'm starting to need the glasses again. So I went for my eye checkup. I got my glasses and I remembered thinking, okay, something's off. I wonder if she, she can, she knows her numbers. <laughs> I wonder if she can tell me the numbers that are in the cable box. So we're standing, we're sitting in the front room and we're kind of uh, about 10 or 12 feet away from the cable box. And I said, Zoe, can you read the numbers on the cable box? And she said, yeah. And I said, okay, what are they? And she said, hold on, I got to get closer. Oh. And I was like, okay, I want you to go as close as you need to, to read the numbers. But then as soon as you can tell me what the numbers are, I want you to stop. And so she walked literally like two feet, like an from arm's length away from that and got down and looked at it and then read off the numbers. And oh I went, gosh. oh, no. <laughs> I just figured out why I couldn't see the... Um the quarter inch my chair i was basically sitting in the floor <laughs> <laughs> that'll do it I lifted the chair, <laughs> that'll do oh, it it's a whole new world oh deb <laughs> deb becker just super chatted a dollar 99 thank you for that tip deb i appreciate you <laughs> and while that this is happening i'm going to take my web piecing and i'm going to iron this i want my seams to nest i could do this one of two ways i could press everything open but ain't nobody got time for that that'll take too long <laughs> and there's not really a lot of bulk because i'm just sewing this together so i want the seams to nest and the best way to do that is just to press each row in opposite direction it is a little bit finicky to do that because Everything's all still attached, but we'll get through it. It'll be just fine. While my iron is heating up, though, I think I'll just go ahead and take a second and finger press each seam. That'll just help it lay a little bit flatter so that when I come in with the iron, I can just do a really quick pass. Does that make sense? I think so. Yes. Brenda says, I lost my sight like overnight. One day I could read and report, and the next day I couldn't. Shh. <sighs> Yeah, it's it's a thing. I think Jason's um, eyesight is getting bad enough that he's going to need progressives. Um, he's doing the trombone thing with with stuff, and he's got to take his glasses off to see certain details. And yeah, I'm sounds like it. <laughs> yep, I'm already in progressives, so glasses and our family are not cheap anymore. <laughs> Go to Costco. They have them at Costco. Oh, that's a really good idea. I yeah. like my eye doctor, but um I, we should go to like bj's or costco to get them get yeah. like pick out the glasses my glasses usually co cost me for one pair of glasses close to nine hundred dollars and i went and got two pairs of glasses for four hundred dollars what costco. yep oh my goodness yep. tanya i don't know what you lost but i am so sorry for your loss i see people saying that so um just sending prayers thoughts and hugs I'll have to go back and see what that was. Yeah. Her name is Tanya. Yeah, Tanya Ross. Can you yeah, scroll I'm back looking. and see? My husband passed away Wednesday. And oh, a no. Cr um, crash. He, it says, I have some bad news. My husband passed away Wednesday in a vehicle crash. I'm here tonight because he knew I loved watching you. Oh. Can Tanya, can you email me? your physical mailing address. I'd love to just send you uh, a card or maybe some flowers or um, I just, I would love to just send you something not part of the Christmas raffle. Even if it's just a little quilty postcard, you know? I'm pressing the seams. Let me need if you need a pressing assistant. Oh, 
well, <laughs> wait a minute. Do I have an Iron Man? <laughs> I'll be an Iron Man. <laughs> well, well, here. <laughs> you may have to plug in the Aliso. I don't know if it's plugged in. Okie dokie. I do it. Okay. Dang. Now I know why Tiffany keeps Scott around. But I'll jump. <laughs> Poor Scott. <laughs> Nicole Byers is in the chat. Nicole, you can't enter the raffle because you have Christmas gifts already. <laughs> I'm teasing. Is this you plugged can. in? I no. Nope. No. No. I don't nope, think nope. it is. Ian has a habit of unplugging irons. Ian. I don't. But Ian does. And he was the last one to use that iron. And so he unplugged it because he's a good guy. And I just try to burn my house down. It's fine. Ian, it's totally Ian, fine. Ian. It's totally fine. Donna said, oh, Mary, Iron Girl. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to get so much done if Mary's going to do all the pressing. Because <laughs> all I have to do is sew. It's my favorite part. <laughs> is it really? Yeah, I love it. Well, let me, let me give you the Christmas gift that keeps on giving. giving. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think Ian should be punished and he has to come back to Virginia and stay a month. Yeah, yeah, for yeah, his yeah, crimes. Yeah, yeah, his his punishment his is punishment, a punishment. Yep, is a round trip ticket to DC. Yep, <laughs> he has to be forced to stay with us for a month. <laughs> a whole month. Bring a your whole laptop. Month, yep. Donna says I unplug my machines and iron every time I am done with them. Not Meredith me. says my daughter would read to my younger sister. She couldn't find shoes sitting in plain sight about 15 feet away running into inch thick trees and breaking them but third grade teacher mentioned she had to oh geez my mom said that when she was growing up um she used to walk into walls oh so she's always had to wear glasses and her prescription has always been really thick one two three four she got cataract surgery a little while ago and it's helped or Mama Nancy. One, two, three, four. This is five. Mary, do you want, um, would you like to use this? Because then you don't have to bend over that little cart. Yes. You can sit at your workstation. That cord is long enough that you can bring it over. Oh, okay. I figure gotcha. if you're going to do the pressing, I can at least not break your back. Yep, that works for me. I don't want to have to go home in a wheelchair. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. One more. Where is Mama Nancy tonight? Bernie Chamberlain wants to know. Mama is comfy in her front room, probably sitting on her couch watching the live stream. She will be here next Friday, though. Yay! 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 Can you tell me the fabric line? It's beautiful. I know, isn't it? It it's is gorgeous. vintage holiday from Bonnie and Camille. I'll leave that there so everybody can see. Um, this looks a lot like Merry Little Christmas, which is the new Christmas line by Bonnie and Camille that just came out. Hi. Come in. Hey, Jason. Do you like my headband? Oh, oh no! Oh. Dun dun dun! <laughs> the beast is loose. <laughs> right, we're waiting to see. Beetlejuice likes to think that this room is where you run circles around my desk. <laughs> I got him. You got him. Sweet. Okay. <laughs> Bye, BJ. Okay. Bye, Jason. <laughs> 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 ah, BR said, hi, Jason, show your face. <laughs> he said, nope. He's already gone. <laughs> he said, nope, I'm out of here. <laughs> he slips. Hi, Jason, show your face. <laughs> He's stealth. <laughs> he is stealth. What model Juki do you sew with? Amy Zellers wants to know, please and thank you. I am sewing on a Juki TL 2010Q. This is tricky with the with them right. With it them is sewed together. <laughs> That's why I was like, "Oh, okay. If you want to press, here you go." <laughs> you know why what don't... you need is one of those little baby irons. Um, those baby irons and I do not get along. You don't like them? 
No, it's not that I don't like them. <laughs> I actually love them. But you know what I do have? <laughs> Uh-oh. Here, if you want to plug this in. It's, oh my gosh. Oh he said, dear. Show your face. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Not yet. Hold on. <laughs> Jason decided he's going to show his face. Are you guys ready for this? <laughs> Be <Okay>. prepared. Scary. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Hi, Jason. Oh, so funny. Um, me up. For those of you that are curious, he is not a beekeeper. He likes to fence. That's his fencing <laughs> thing for his face. We got less than a minute before we pick our next winner. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Neither was I. Why are you not sitting in? Oh, you're plugging in. Yes. You I just did. unplugged the machine, though. Yep. I oh, did? You did. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, that's not good. No. Unplug something else. <laughs> <laughs> There's too many cords in here. There's a the long white cord from the Aliso you could unplug. That's what I did. Oh, I. Oh. I did. Whatever. <laughs> I don't need to micromanage. You oh, holding, plugging, and irons. No, I'm I sure didn't. you know how to do that. I did. I did. <laughs> Hi, quilt queen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> so I have this little mini iron that I bought to specifically work on little tiny press, like little teeny tiny clover iron. And so I gave it to Mary so that she could press the webbing. And she goes to plug it in, but the plastic protector is still on the prong. <laughs> and she couldn't figure out why it wasn't going into the hole. <laughs> Can't take you anywhere. I do. <laughs> That's okay. I would have made the same mistake. <laughs> is that Bella or Chewy that loves your quilt top? Um... <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> oh, you mean that's on the chair? Yeah. Oh, that's Bella. <laughs> Bella's like, this is mine, Mom. <laughs> All right, let's pick our winner. Oh, goodness. Ozark's creative. Uh, Mert? Is it Mert? I think. Mort? I, I told you I'm horrible with names. I was going to have a hard time remembering that. Um, but you've won. So please... <laughs> Type in the chat. Let me acknowledge that you see that you have won. <laughs> and then we will start a new raffle. You get one minute to do that. Mar Maddie. Marty. Mary Canode says, it's a Mary thing. <laughs> Yay, she won. Okay, so we see that you have acknowledged your prize. We're going to complete that one. And we're going to pick a new one. Here comes another one. Start another giveaway. 15 minutes. Pick this one just a minute or two after 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. I might have, like, all of the tops done, and then I can just quilt them tomorrow and bind them. What it would that would be? I swear, I'm having I'm having technical issues tonight. What's going on? I didn't know there was a plug. I mean, oh, there was a... <laughs> the switch. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I'm Don't like either. waiting for it to heat up. <laughs> you gotta turn it on. I know. <laughs> I turned the other button on. I just didn't turn that one on. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> Julie Quilts, I got your mug. You guys, Julie sent me a mug from Sister Wives. Um, and it's got a picture of Christine on it. And it says, What does the nanny do? <laughs> Thank you for that. Jason thought it was hilarious. I'm gonna put this one here. What do you need? Do you gotta go outside? All right, hold on. You want to go in there? You want you don't want to go in there, do you? What do you want? Hmm? What do you want? He wants to play with uh, Beetlejuice. Oh, I think that's why I'm surprised. <laughs> what do you want? You got to go in there? I don't know what he wants. If he wants to go outside. Come okay. On. He might Come not here. know that that's the door to go out. Come here, Bubby. Oh, sorry. There... The uh, lights for the yard are 
by the front door. They're not in here. Oh, okay. Okay. It's on the back of the door in the utility room. Yep, I got it. I don't want them going in the woods. How many times do you have to enter? Um, hold on. Let me go back. How many times do you have to enter for a ticket every time or just once? Every time you have to do it. Because mm -hmm. I end the other one and I start a whole new one. So we'll have eight giveaways tonight. You'll have, if you want a chance to win all eight prizes, you have to enter each raffle eight times. Or each raffle one time. So eight raffles. Oh, hi. We've got all these pinks over here. Let's start using some of these. I'm actually not even worrying about directional on this directional fabric on this at all. Just putting it together. So, so, so. Although I guess we could. Oh, my ear itches. Maybe so that the chat's not going stupid crazy. Maybe we'll just pick, um, we'll, we'll end this one. And then at nine o'clock, we'll pick one that I will pick winners from every 15 minutes. That way we can chat with each other because otherwise you're just going to see people getting tickets all night. So nine o'clock, we'll change it. This will be the last one that we'll do. We'll do one more after this and then we'll just pick four winners from that. So I'll have four Raffles and then one raffle with four winners. Make sense? One, two, three, four. <clears throat> you had to go out. Ba -da -ba. Ba -da -ba. I am done adulting today, adulting today, adulting today. <laughs> you okay? Oh, yeah, he does that. Oh, he has sinus issues. <laughs> I, I was like, listen, Beetlejuice <laughs> juice isn't here. <laughs> yeah, he does that every once in a while. Poor kid. I know. Uh, why did I say kid? Poor kid. <laughs> well, I treat him like a kid. <laughs> True story. <laughs> In fact, maybe we'll just keep this one open the rest of the night. So if you've got a ticket, um, you don't have to enter anymore. I'll just keep picking winners from this one raffle. That'll make it easier because then we can chat and you guys can type in the chat. We can actually interact with one another. That's what we'll do. My channel, my giveaway. Good idea. I can change it up. Bright idea. I'll pick one at 9. I'll pick one at 9.15, 9.30, 9.45, and then our final one at 10 o'clock. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. I, I felt like this was bigger than six, so I had to count. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't trust myself. <laughs> Ah, yes. Do I need to email you or text you my info, Becca? Yes, please email me, Becca at SoBecca.com. If you want a prize, you'll have to email me, and I need you to do that by uh, Sunday so that I can get your gift out to you sometime next week. Please don't make me chase you down. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me beat you. <laughs> ba -da -ba. Gonna put a red one right here. It's my last red one. <laughs> Becca, I didn't quite catch the winner of the last draw, but I think her name showed up. It was Ozarks uh, something or another. Ozark's lady, Marty or Morty or Mert, something like that, I think is what she goes by. 
horrible with names. <laughs> That's a pink. I'll put the pink next to the pink. That's fine. It's fine. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> I have another one ready for you to press. Oh, Are you dear. super excited? I'm excited. <laughs> okay. Here you go. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm not sure what she is making. I am just, I took a charm pack, which you can see here, and I cut it up into two and a half inch squares. Um, so I get I get four stacks of two and a half inch squares out of each charm pack. I have two charm packs. I'm going to make eight patchwork placemat, uh, patchwork placemats, basically. So I am sewing all of my little stacks of two and a half inch squares that I cut out of my charm pack into six rows of seven. I have to always think and picture it in my head. Six rows of seven because six times seven is 42. That's going to use up every single square. And then once those are all sewn together, I will quilt them and I will bind them and I will have patchwork placements. Yay. Watch the replay of your little zipper the other night. Those could be addictive, right? <laughs> I totally made like 10 of them and they're all under the tree for everybody. One, <clears throat> two, three, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, what you did, um. Did I just pull from, I don't know. Okay. This iron is not that good. Okay. I'm talking about the, um, the little the, steam, the yeah, little the, steam fast ones. Yeah. And I have a baby Aliso too. I liked the baby Aliso. Oh, you did? That, so the little drift seam fast ones mm -hmm. weren't great for me. Mm -mm. I didn't love them because they're cheapy. Well, I, I like three of them have broken on me. Yeah. And I just got tired of it. Yeah. So I, um, I, I quit, I quit buying them. <laughs> but I see the thing is, is I know people who, that use those and swear by them. Yeah. They've made, like, they've had them for years and it doesn't ever stop working, but I have burned out three of them. One of them I burned out in a matter of like two weeks. <laughs> Some um, people keep talking about the steam, the steam fast, the drip stream, steam fast. Yeah. That's that you get I... from the, um, you get from the Walmart for like 20 bucks. Those are not built very well. I got mine a long time ago from like shabby fabrics or something like that. And it, my, that one, I love both of them and I won't give either one of them away. <laughs> it's just like, I was like, I don't need two small irons, but I'm having a really hard time giving them away. <laughs> well, I have, um, I had the Aliso, the mini Aliso. I got it as a Christmas gift. Mm -hmm. I actually liked the iron. It got hot. It did what I needed it to do. <laughs> but the problem that I had with the iron is I didn't like the trivet that you set it on because a trivet would get really, really hot. And even the whatever was under the trivet would get hot. So I would put like extra stacks of like little miscut wool, like little wool mats that I would get in boxes and I put it under the trivet. And those were still getting discolored because they were still absorbing the heat from the trivet. Uh -huh. And I didn't want the trivet to be directly on my sewing furniture. That's uh -huh. why... I Right? I understood, yeah. It still gets the, really the hot. The baby Aliso I have has the rubber mat that goes under it. You know, the, the silicone one. Yeah, but it still gets hot. It, it does? Yeah. Okay. I hadn't even noticed. I'm going to put this over here on your table. Okay, that'll work. Wait, but, you know, that that's such a moot point. Honestly, it's not even that big of a deal. Here's what I had a problem with. In the space that I was in before... I had my iron set kind of over here a little bit and I would 
grab it, but the cord was always in my way. Oh. And I kept hitting the cord and I kept knocking the thing on the floor. I dropped that iron on the floor like four or five times. It still got hot. It's still, but the plastic pieces, the housing was falling apart. Oh. And I just eventually decided it was time, time to, to go. retire it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hear But you. the iron was working. It wasn't that the iron quit working. I just, I dropped it on the floor too many times. <laughs> well, that'll do it. <laughs> that'll do it. I think I could probably get away with it now, but I have the, see, look, I put two of the same fabric together. Whoops, that's uh, because you, I was I talking I to you. I'm sorry. I no, distracted okay. you. So here's what I'm going to do to fix that. I'm just going to cut these apart and I'm going to flip it around. There you go. <laughs> and I'm Sounds going like to come back over here. In fact, I feel like this came from over there, maybe. I don't know. Whatever. I'm questioning whether or not I actually have. We'll find out in the end. Six times seven is 42. But I feel like I may have accidentally grabbed a couple of squares from the other pile. But nobody's going to care. Nope. Because the, they're all, the fabric's going to all go together. <laughs> One, two. Now I'm working on number three in each row. Yeah, I think I would get another. I would I would get another mini Aliso for things like this. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Is that iron for getting hot? It's it's yeah, it's hot. It's just not pressing as good as the Aliso was. Okay. But it's hard. It was just hard with the Aliso because it kept turning the the seams. Do you want to carry? Do you want to use the? You could probably bring your chair over I here. I know what I could do. do. The... I know what I could do. I just thought of a, a brilliant idea. Okay, she's brilliant. She thought I'm of a bro brilliant idea. I just idea. thought of a brilliant Becca, idea. Becca, what fabric are you using? This is Vintage Holiday by Bonnie and Camille. Okay. This looks a lot like for the same color palette as their new Christmas line, Merry Little Christmas. This line is out of print. So if you are trying to pick some of this up, you might have to go on Etsy to look. But if you just really like the color palette, um, you could take a look at Merry Little Christmas by Bonnie and Camille. Yep, I think I just... I'm opening my new mini Aliso for Christmas. I hope it works for me. It was a really good iron. I, I really liked it. I just kept knocking it on the floor. VR says, I'm having an issue fixing a quilt that has been binded. The material on top did not lay flat. The material moved and I didn't realize it. Do you have an idea how to fix that? Uh, nope. Unfortunately, she's going to have to take the binding apart there and put it back. Fix it that way, I think. <laughs> Excuse Bless me. You. What she said. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It wouldn't be that hard to do. I'm just going to resume uh, entries. So anytime through the course of tonight, if you did not get a ticket, you can always do exclamation gift. We're going to pick our nine o'clock winner. Oh, I can't do it this way. I have to close entries. Oh, okay. Pick a winner. Mary F. All right, Mary, email me your, well, let's make sure that you're here. Because you do have to be here in order for your prize to claim. So that is the one downfall of having one raffle where I just keep, keep picking people. It means you need to stay for the whole thing. <laughs> because you could have left. Yep. <laughs> Whereas the 15 minute intervals, you're probably still here. Mary, let me know in the chat if you are here. Have Mirth, Mary F. Yes. Yes. She's here. Yay. All right, Mary. Email me your physical mailing address at Becca at SoBecca.com. And we will resume. We'll open it back up. So if these you don't need to get another ticket. If you already have one, you're still good to go. But if you have just tuned in, exclamation gift will get you entered into the giveaway. Sorry for changing the rules on you, but I think this is better.
works much better. Carissa, you should have a ticket. Carissa's saying it didn't give me a ticket. Carissa, you have a ticket. I see it right here. Just keep in mind that the bot doesn't always, YouTube doesn't always keep up with the chat bot replying that you have a ticket. But you do have a ticket. I see it right there. <clears throat> All right. You don't have to do exclamation gift if you already have a ticket. We're keeping your tickets. This is the same, same raffle. So just heads up, we're just going to keep drawing winners from this same raffle. You only need to do exclamation gift if you are... You haven't done it already. Oh, we're going to do this red. Thanks for checking, Becca. You're welcome, Carissa. This fabric smells Brenda so said, good. Okie doke. <laughs> <laughs> Lynn so imperfect says hi Becca Merry Christmas Merry Christmas to you too I'm making some Christmassy placemats with the vintage picket picnic fabric line don't forget we are giving away Christmas gifts tonight if you would like a chance to win a Christmas gift from yours truly you haven't done so already exclamation gift in the chat will get you a ticket to potentially win a Christmas gift for me All right, one, two, three, four, five. Two more. Merry Christmas, everyone. Hello, Shauna Christensen. Shauna, don't forget to do exclamation gift to get a chance to win a Christmas gift from me. I brought the pro, pro, it says stream, but I want to say steam. Brenda says, I bought the Pro Stream line by Rowenta and I love it. Is that a mini iron or is it a yes. full size? It is? Yeah. Huh. I, be I believe so. Yeah, because um, they had them at the quilt show that we went to in Fredericksburg. Oh, okay. Yeah. They have the big size irons Hello, and little Donna. ones. Donna, are you doing a live stream tonight at 10? She already said no on her um, community page. Oh, she said no on her community page. Well, there's the answer. <laughs> I think the, the message she put out to everybody was uh, that she was spending time with the family. Got it. Uh, Brenda says it is a full-size iron. I'm going to fix. Oh, that one's a full-size. Okay. They have the smaller ones, too. My brilliant idea worked. She said, no, babe, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't be sorry. <laughs> you are totally fine. Spend time with your family, girl. You know, <clears throat> shoop, 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 shoop. Are you skiing or sorry? Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> shoop, 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 shoop. shoop. <laughs> 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 Man, having a friend so for you makes this go so much fast. I mean, press for you makes this go so much faster. <laughs> Because I'm just knocking this out. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Iron Woman. <laughs> Iron Woman. Da, da, da. I feel like I need a theme song. 
Wonder Woman. <laughs> oh, I loved that show when I, I know. Up. It was one of my favorites. I know. She was a um her husband was a senator or a congressman or something like that. Oh, I'm not yeah. talking about the real actress. Um, I don't know anything about the real actress. Oh, I was actress. talking about the well they remember they had the the actress uh, her name was Linda Carter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she was a uh, Wonder Woman. Here's another one. Oh, <laughs> it's left there. And Anthea Cabral says, my nine-year-old daughter is watching with me. Would you say hi to her? Sure. What's her name? Hello. 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 <laughs> her name is Morgan. Hello, Morgan. Oh, oh, sorry. Tiffany said, you cannot be the Iron Woman. You have to be the Iron Panda. Oh. <laughs> this is true. Yep. <laughs> Everybody say hi to Morgan. Send her loves and hearts. Hi, Morgan. Merry Christmas. I hope Santa brings you lots of gifts. <laughs> Louise says, nothing like having a buddy to do the pressing. <laughs> 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 Sean's laughing. Ah, <laughs> Miss Cabral says we made her night. <laughs> Aww. Well, watch this. Everybody send Christmas trees to Morgan. <laughs> oh, no problem, Claudia. Claudia said, "Sorry, I thought we had to do explanation gift after each raffle. I did say that in the beginning, but not anymore. <laughs> I'm just trying to make it easier for us so we can all chat and hang out." One, two, three. Four. This is number four. This is number five. Look, everybody's starting to send Christmas trees to Morgan. <laughs> oh, Marianne sent her island. lots of blue hearts. <laughs> Fill up that chat with lots of emojis just for Morgan, guys. One, two, three, four, five. I got goosebumps from all this. <laughs> They're making Morgan feel loved. Oh, I thought I lost the other one. <laughs> I can't stop smiling. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. One, two, three, four, five. All right, there's my six. Chitty, chitty, chat, chat. <laughs> Hello, Heather. <laughs> the original Wonder Woman. Oh, wait. Oh, hold on. I come back. I got to see what you said. Hildy Shaw Perry says the original Wonder Woman. I have the whole set of DVDs I have not opened because I love it. She love it. She loves it. She loves it. I like I liked that show and the Bionic Woman. Oh yeah. That was a good one. Yep. Oh, Sue sent like now people are sending Christmas Santas, Christmas <laughs> clauses. Oh my goodness, Becca, did you get my package? Uh, there is a package at my post office box that I'm going to pick up tomorrow, so I'm gonna guess that's it. I got notification that it was delivered today, so probably, probably there. Linda Carter's husband was a senator. Yep. You were right, Mary. Yep. Look at you, no one. <laughs> I'm a C SPAN watcher. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> Good morning. I love seeing all these little emojis going over to Morgan. This makes my day like. Now the chat thinks the trees are spam. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the moderators are working overtime. Oh, no. <laughs> Let them go through. Oh, my gosh. Look at all the spam. Or all the those ones from Margie. Margie. <laughs> yep. Great. I love it. Next time I remember to bring my mini iPad. <laughs> well, it's so hard to, to see on the, the little thing. Actually, do you want my iPads out in the other room if you want to grab that? 
No, it's, it's, it's 9.15. Okay. It'll, it'll be okay. Oh, it's 9.15? Yeah. That means it's time to pick oh. another entry. <laughs> okay, Okey-dokey. close entries. Pick another winner. Becky Holt, are winner, you winner, in chicken. the chat? Let me know. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Becky Holt, you have won the 9.15 raffle. Becky Holt, claim your prize. How many placemats are you making? Eight. <laughs> I thought you said there's seven. There's no, six seven, seven rows of six. Six rows of seven. But I get four. Oh, set. gotcha. Yeah. Okay, never mind. Yeah. But I did say seven tonight, so yeah. <laughs> you're not completely wrong. Good. I didn't lose my mind. <laughs> you didn't lose your mind. <laughs> That's a good to, good thing. <laughs> Come on, Becky Holt. We know you're here. If you're not here, we're going to pick Becca, another Becky. winner. You Becky, got Becky, one Becky. more minute. One more minute. Oops. I'll wait till 9.17 my time. Oh, yay. There she is. Yay. Here, I am ready for a chicken dinner. <laughs> Woohoo! Winner, winner, right, chicken we'll dinner. Resume entries, pick another one at 9 30. Uh, Becky, make sure to email me your physical mailing address at Becca at sobecca.com. I'll have to run down to the chicken place and get her some chicken dinner. <laughs> oh, chicken dinner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. dinner. We had hot dogs. We did. We do hot dogs every Friday night. It's become a ritual. Jason, like, he makes chili and chops up onions and makes fries or tater tots or something to go with them. But it was we good. Had, we had some chili dogs. And, and he, Jason makes great um, um, sauteed onions. Oh my gosh, they were so good. He's a good cook. Yep. We are still getting hammered in Ontario, Canada, says Lori. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm glad it's not snowing here. Yesterday we had rain all day long. Oh, it was rain. Pouring. It was icy in some places. Yep. KD says she's going out for Chinese tonight. Yum. Uh, yum, yum. I'd love me some Chinese, man. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll do Chinese tomorrow night for dinner. <laughs> It's usually a standard Christmas weekend. Oh, yeah? <laughs> uh -huh. Like Christmas Eve. See, my board. brilliant idea helped me get three done. Three. Three of them are done. Well, I think I'll have four pieced, but I don't think I'm going to have all eight pieced tonight. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Tamala. 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 Tam 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 Pamela. Says, no power here in my village in Maine. My generator died, too. I'm in my car watching video. Oh, God. <gasps> oh well, at least gosh. in your car, you'll get to stay warm, too. When we lost power in January, we were out without power for a couple of days. And we started rotating, just like sitting in the car with it running, charging devices and having the heat on. <laughs> Because there was no, like, there was no heat. And even, but even with your car parked like that, uh -huh. it still doesn't get that warm in there. No, it's still cold. Like, we had to yep. sit in the car in, like, with coats on. And what we couldn't you... go driving because our, we had down wire in our driveway. So, oh, where just, did you pull this from? Uh, that shelf. This one here? Yeah, it does. I don't care yeah, where it goes. Care. Okay. Find a place for it. I just we'll want to put it all together so it doesn't get separated. And we're okay. not looking for something. Ouch. You know I've got one more, though, right? I know. Okay. I'm using the regular iron. <laughs> you think you got tired of it? <laughs> I was like, this is ridiculous. This isn't forever. working. Nope. It wasn't working very good. In the middle of... A blizzard in northern Michigan, Nani is. Yeah, oh I heard gosh. it was headed that way. I wonder if we're going to see any snow. I don't think so. I think it's going to pass us by. It looked like, um, you know, like parts of Pennsylvania and like northeast. 
Okay. Because it came up from Texas, and that's kind of like middle part of the state, uh, the, the United States. So it probably just came straight up. Ian sent us snow. Yep, Ian sent us snow. And then Michigan stole it. Ask Ian if he had got snow. Ian, did you get snow? Marissa says it feels like it's one degree and it feels like negative 18. Yeah. Pat Boo says anyone have wood stoves there? Mandatory here in extreme. If she's in extreme temperature. She's in Northern California. Ugh. We have a we have a fireplace, a wood burning fireplace here. It doesn't heat up the house very well, but it does produce some heat. Right in front of it, it gets nice and toasty warm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for helping with this, by the way. You're very welcome. Awful kind of you. I'm ready for the next one whenever you're ready to give it. I'm almost there. This machine is nice. <laughs> I like that machine. It is nice. I got that from Berger's, actually. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it was a floor model. Oh. I got a really good deal I on never. It. That's one of the machines I've never had as a baby talk. I love it. It's a great machine. Yeah. But I, I bought that machine thinking that it was going to stitch faster than the older baby lock I had. Mm -hmm. And I, while it, it's a very nice machine. Yeah. But there is nothing about that machine that the other one that I had didn't do. And so I was like, wait, I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and what I wanted was a machine that stitched faster. Yeah. You wanted a juki. <laughs> I thought I was getting a machine that stitched like, like as fast as the Juki and the Brother and the Baby Lock version of there that are machine. no other machines that are faster than the Juki. <laughs> it, but it's a it's a beautiful but it's machine. A good it's machine. very reliable. It sews very smoothly once very... you get it thread it right. <laughs> yep, it is a really nice machine. I just couldn't figure out the even feed foot because it was it was just looking terrible on the top. So, well, I will. Um... I'll take a look at it later and see if we can get it working. But the stitch is great even without it. Oh, yeah. Here's the last one, Mary. Okie dokie. I'm coming. One, two, three, four. Yep, seven. There you go. Okay, so now these that are all pressed, I'm going to stitch these together. Oh, I unplugged my phone. Fireplaces don't really heat the house like a wood stove. That's true. That's true. Pat Boo says... You can, oh, you know, I wonder if I could get a wood stove for downstairs for my parents because it gets kind of chilly. It gets very down cold down there. It does. Yeah. Well, my stepdad loves that. My mom heats it. Yeah. But, but I, I like it cold at nighttime. Oh, I just she don't, gets really it was cold, cold. there, though, to really today when I was working down there. Yeah. And poor Chewie, his nose was so cold. <laughs> And he was whimpering, and I couldn't figure out why he was whimpering. And I took him and put him under the the cover on the couch uh -huh. and he curled up under there and he never does that. My mom usually has that black heater going when she's down there. Yeah. I, tr I turned that on and when I went downstairs to get the blanket for the dogs, it does feel much warmer down you there. You have to, um, you can set it to be a temperature if you press the little yep. button. That's what I figured out how to do. Yep. And that's what I normally do for is I set it at like 72 and just put it on rotate mm -hmm. and it just stays on the whole time she's downstairs. Yeah. We just leave it on like all the time because it'll turn off once the thermostat hits the right. I've thought about putting a mini split down there. Oh, yeah, that would be a good idea. Yeah, because I didn't bring my jacket with me this weekend because I bought my big coat, my winter too, coat. <laughs> too bad those uh, Udi's won't be here. Those what won't be here? The Udi. The, the Udi. things, those hoodie oh, things. Oh, the hoodie things. <laughs> yeah. Because that would have been perfect for you. Yep. But I wrapped up in, in Nan, uh, Mama Nancy's um, crocheted afghan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just put it on my shoulders, and so I still had my hands free to type. You could have come upstairs and worked, by the way. I know. You told me that. But I was already set up down there, 
and I did I when I'm reading title, I don't I need to no distractions. Yo, Patty G's in the house. <laughs> hey Patty G. She's cuddling with her new Christmas quilt. <laughs> did she get it already? Yeah, she posted a picture of it in the Facebook group. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, she did. Tiffany, if you're not um never mind you saw it shoop 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 i don't know why i keep saying that <laughs> i think you want to go skiing i don't want to ski yeah. I don't like anything that has to do with white powdery mm. substance that me falls neither. from skies <laughs> me neither keep it keep all of it i am not a winter person <laughs> me either I do like Christmas, though. Well, I, I, Christmas has always been my favorite holiday, but I don't like cold weather at all. I don't either. I like, I don't mind when it snows if you get a snow day. Yeah. But I want it to melt, like, within 24 hours. Yeah. <laughs> because I'm ready to live my life. <laughs> you just I, don't want, I don't want the inconvenience to buy it. You just want the brief, the brief moment. I want, I want it to fall from the sky and then... Like, stick around overnight, but when I wake up the next day, it needs to go home. For one brief shining moment here. <laughs> Snow a lot. <laughs> I don't want to bring down any trees. <laughs> Is there a pattern for your Christmas quilt? Sue wants to know. Yes. If you check out my video... There is a, well, no, not for the whole quilt. Just, I used a paper piece template. And then all I did is I, uh, I took the size of the block. So the blocks finished at like, I think eight inches or squared up to eight inches. And then I just laid them out alternating tree, solid block, tree, solid block. If you look at the layout, if you look at the video, you'll be able to figure it out really easily. Um, but the paper piece is a template that I bought off of Etsy, and the link for that is in that video. And it's not my pattern, just so everybody knows. <clears throat> I swear, this takes just as long as the other way did. <laughs> yeah, but they line up better. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying, like, nesting the seams takes as long as oh, yeah. chain piecing the whole thing. <laughs> you just want... <laughs> PR says, you just want to sing the uh, salt and pepper song. <laughs> Shoo, choo, bay, oop, oop, bay, oop, bay, oop, bay. <laughs> okay, I'll take that. I'll bite. I'll nibble that. <laughs> oh, two minutes. I'll pick another winner. There we go. Look at this. Look, see, pretty, right? <laughs> yes, you want to press this one? Yep. Let me finish this one. I'll piece this next set together. Okay. This one will be easier. How to many piece. blocks have you made? How many blocks have you made, Becca? Are you talking about the tree? Well, there's 12 creators. So I had 12 fat quarters, right? Um, so I made one with each of their fat quarter. You'll have to, if you go check out the video, you'll see. It'll talk about all the challenge and everything. Is that what you meant, Ellen? Hi, Karen. Do exclamation gift to get a chance to win a Christmas gift for me that will be sent to you after Christmas. I am cutting apart some vintage holiday charm packs to turn them into patchwork placemats with a pretty holiday theme. Ha, ha, ha.
Hildy <laughs> says, okay, you can have my weather. I live in the desert. I'll take yours with the snow any day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want the desert either. <laughs> yeah, but the desert is dry. So no, it's no, not... I don't want heat. <laughs> I don't want the heat. I don't want the cold. <laughs> <laughs> she wants it just right. <laughs> I'm going to move to San Francisco and live there for the rest of my life. <laughs> I hear they have pretty consistent temperatures right around 70 degrees all year round. Works for me. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Oops, that's one that doesn't want to lay flat. Dude on it. Well, how did I do that? Well, rats. What happened? I sewed it. I don't know how I did that. Um, I sewed the last two, I mean, I ironed the last two rows in the wrong direction, so they're oh, not going to nest. Gotcha. I was like, you didn't sew any of it, Mary. Nope. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about there. No. You're okay. I was looking on the bottom to make sure I was turning them the right way. <laughs> Got it. You're, you're okay. I love snow, Karen says, but I don't want it in Florida. It is getting cold down here. I've heard. I've heard. I have friends that live in Florida. there nesting each of these seams as I go San Francisco can get cold Linda says and very rainy in the winter probably doesn't stay that way for very long like here in the Pacific Northwest yeah in the Pacific Northwest it rains all the time yeah I've heard that I feel like I moved to the Pacific Northwest because it's rained <laughs> We've True. lived in this house for a year now, and I feel like eight months of this year, it's rained. Yep. <laughs> Every Saturday, what are you doing? Nothing. It's raining. <laughs> okay, we need to pick another winner. See who it picks. Jana Meyer. Let me know that you're still here. Acknowledge that you're accepting your prize by typing something in the chat. Jana Meyer, come on down. Come on down. <laughs> You're the next contestant, and the price is right. Or the price is wrong. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I did such a good job ironing it, it didn't want to go the way it's supposed to go. <laughs> 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 That's sad. Deanna Meyer, waiting for you to claim your prize. You're a winner! I'm a winner chicken dinner. We'll give you to 9.35. That's two minutes. And if we don't see you come back, we'll pick another winner. Was it Jana? Gianna, yeah. Gianna. I get a notification. Oh, you do? Reply. Okay. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about okay. watching the chat. Cool. But if they've clicked off and moved on, you had to be here to win. So yep. give you three minutes usually. So we got one more minute left before I move on to pick another winner. All right, there's another one done. There you go. Another, another one, one bites, bites the dust. dust. <laughs> bom, bom, Thanks. Bom. <laughs>
Your chat support staff is terrific, Mary says. I know. You can thank Ian. You can thank Tiffany. You can thank Teresa. You can thank Donna from Handmade by Ying. All of my lovely moderators are amazing. And the best way to thank them is to check out the content they produce right here on YouTube. If you do exclamation friends, you'll get all of their lovely commands. And then you can use that to get a link to their YouTube channel. And I'm sure they would love it if you would hop over, check out their content. If you like what you see, hit that little subscribe button. All right, Gianna. I'm going to give you one more minute. Your time's up. And I'm going to give you one more minute. I'm going to pick somebody else. I don't believe you're here with us, but just in case you had to go to the restroom, Gianna Meyer, Gianna Meyer, Gianna Meyer, one more minute. <laughs> we all have to take bio breaks sometime. Becky says, I'm trying to watch you to get my mojo back up to get back to sewing. Grab a charm pack and just sew it together. It's the best way to get through it. When y'all had the Christmas quilt giveaway, I subscribed to everyone. Awesome. Because <laughs> not all of the people that did the collab with us are moderators here, but all of my moderators, I believe, are in the were in the uh, 12 days of quiltness. So. All right, we're going to pick another winner. Sorry, Gianna, you had your time. We're moving on. The winner that's going to replace her is claudia simpson <laughs> come on down make sure you're in the chat you could just type anything claudia hi uh smiley emoji woohoo <laughs> but maybe not your social security number maybe no. don't type that <laughs> no <laughs> claudia simpson See if she's still here with us tonight. Give her about three or four minutes to reply. Ooh, this is pretty. It is really pretty. Are you going to add more quilters to Quiltmas next year? I think that's the goal. Um, I don't know. I'm not going to lead it next year. I think somebody else is going to lead it. Although I will say, I don't feel like I led it this year. It was very much a democracy we the only thing I did was typed up meeting votes and hosted Zoom calls that we had every two weeks, and we all made decisions as a group. So this wasn't like Becca's thing; it was all of our thing. But next year, I think somebody's going to host it. Um, we already know who that person is, and I think we would love to see it get bigger. So yeah, Krista says it would be fun to have twenty four quilters next year. I think that's what we're hoping for. So more details to come. Just stay tuned. It, but it won't be until like fall next year. <laughs> <laughs> Let's All get right. through this Christmas first. <laughs> I, I don't think Claudia is with us either. See, this is why I end up restarting the raffles because then we end up with a bunch of people in the raffle that aren't here anymore. So 
if Claudia does not claim her prize, we'll give her another minute. If she doesn't claim her prize, then we're going to end this one. I will start a new one and we'll just go back to what we were doing before. Sadly, it will mean you'll have to get a new ticket every time, but this way we can be sure that the people that are entering for the ticket are sticking around to see if they won. So we'll give Claudia one more minute, a few more seconds. Katie says she can see Claudia in the channel, but she's not talking. Yeah, when you type at and it shows you the list of names, that's actually just who has been active in the chat. It's not an actual complete list of the people that were here, nor is it um, a list of who is still here. So you could type in the chat and click off of the video and go away, and you might still be able to be tag, like you could still see them. Or you could just walk away from the computer, right? So, all right, here's another one for you. Got it. Wait, is that all? No, this nope, one. there's one more. Okay. okay, so we're going to take her out as a winner because she didn't, she wasn't here and said you had to be here. We're going to start a new one. So, unfortunately, this does mean everybody's going to have to put in a raffle to win. Um, we will give this one five minutes time and I will pick two winners to get us back on track. Five minutes, get your ticket. I'm picking two winners from this one. Nobody has a ticket. You have to do exclamation gift to get a ticket now. <laughs> I bet you don't get very many Christmas carolers out here, do you? No. Nope. <laughs> no, but we used to get them at the house we lived at in Arlington. That was fun. Yeah. We get them sometimes in our neighborhood. The Girl Scouts and the Boy Scouts come around and do yeah. Christmas caroling. That is the one thing that I do miss about living like out here. Mm -hmm. It's very secluded. There's not a lot of community happening because we don't live in a community, you know? Right. We're in between a couple of subdivisions where I think they do things, but we're kind of forgotten about. Yeah. I love that. And I also <laughs> don't love that sometimes. At least you don't have to deal with the HOA. Yeah. <laughs> It's my land. I'll tear up the yard if I want to. What are you going to say about <laughs> Nothing. Not a dang thing. <laughs> Brenda's typing, oh, come all you faithful. Oh, <laughs> oh I see what you did. This one got twisted around. That's okay. I'm yep. gonna fix did it I do it again? It's okay. I'm going to fix it with my finger. Okay. I'm not worried about I it. I thought I fixed them all. It was in the middle that it got messed up. Oh. Don't worry about it. I can just flip it around with my finger. Okay. It'll, as long as it's laying flat when they kiss. Are you going to fire me? <laughs> yes. No more <laughs> pressing my rope. Oh, wait. You're all done. <laughs> uh. <laughs> 
listen, I am a firm believer that if you did me a favor, I can't <laughs> complain about how you did it, right? Like if I didn't, if yep. I was at all particular about how it was going to be done. It's just like my then dad. Then I should have just done it myself. And my dad used to say, beggars can't be choosers. That's right. <laughs> That's right. So no, I am not <laughs> going to be mad. I'm just going to flip it around so that my seams nest and I'll fix it when I press it. <laughs> Oops. My scissors. I lost my scissors. There they scissors. Are. My scissors. Scissors. <laughs> and this painter's tape has been in my sewing room for so long that it doesn't really stick so, <laughs> so i had to put pins on it oh no <laughs> i actually wanted to pick up some painter's tape remind me to do that when we go out tomorrow okay oh, come on what's the problem now no oh, the tape came up on the bottom of the foot <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Just can't win for losing. I just totally messed everything up. It's sewing on the tape now. Mm. <laughs> You're <sighs> <following> over there. <laughs> You're a nut. <laughs> it's sewed on top of the tape and it's sewed. It the tape got stuck on the bottom of the the foot and it wouldn't move but yet it started when i started sewing again it sewed on the top of the tape oh and crooked like major crooked you need to rip stitches yep me and jack are gonna take a little visit do you need a seam ripper i have one i never always come prepared. without it i always come prepared oh, never leave home without jack <laughs> yep because i have to do it at least once a sewing session I think we all do. Yep. All right, we're going to pick our, we're going to pick two winners now. Just give me a second and I'll do that. And then we'll get back on track. Okay. I just want to sew the rest of the seam first. All right. Oh, I got one more seam to go. Okay, our first winner is going to be Billy Weather Weathered Weathered. <laughs> Always, a, I know I'm chopping people's names all the time, but it happens. Doing the best I can. <laughs> it happens, Billy. If you could just reply to me in the chat, just say thank you, Merry Christmas. Send a heart emoji, anything, so I can see that you're still here. Billy, Billy, Billy. Oh, no, now I got the song. Billy, there you are. Don't be a hero. Oh, I was going <laughs> to <laughs> Billy, 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 you're so fun. I see you, Billy. Thank you. We're going to pick our second winner from that raffle. Life as a mom. Please type in the chat. Let me know that you're still here too. And then both of you will email me your physical mailing address at Becca at SoBecca.com. And I will send out your gift sometime next week. Life as a mom. You are the second winner from that raffle. There you are. Yay. So Billy and Life as a Mom, please email me your physical mailing address by Sunday at Becca at SoBecca.com. And we will go ahead and start our last giveaway for the evening. Wow. This is going to be exactly. a 10-minute giveaway. Okay, there we go. And while that's happening, I'm going to come in and press this. So I got four tops piece tonight. That I'm awesome. 
<laughs> it's because you helped me with the pressing. Otherwise, I wouldn't have gotten this far. I would have got like three or maybe two. <laughs> ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Well, it's like you're welcome. Life as a mom. Tiffany said last week that I'm I'm the sewing assistant from time <laughs> to time. That's my job. <laughs> Can I see that uh, mat that you have over there? Absolutely. That one's a little bit bigger. It'll work for pressing this last one. My friend Becca will let you borrow it. Oh no yeah, I heard she's kind of yeah. She's, she's kinda... not really a nice person though. No. That's what I heard. Oh, that's not true. <laughs> 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 I heard she's stingy with the iron. No. <laughs> no, I gotta do it like a Rachel does. No. <laughs> no. <sighs> ba 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 ba. Can't you see? Sometimes your words. Oh, Biggie, that's the song. Biggie, 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 can't you see? Sometimes your words just hypnotize me. Oh my gosh, I got all these threads on my shirt. <laughs> oh, life of a quilter. Yep. <laughs> my son. I come with strings attached. <laughs> <laughs> you quack me up. <laughs> <laughs> That's adorable. Adorable. <laughs> what? Well, oh, it was. What did the mama cow say to the baby cow? That's what it was. Adorable. You're adorable. <laughs> That's what the joke was. <laughs> I bet you she don't even remember that one. We'll be like, hey Zoe, what did the mama cow say to the baby cow? <laughs> I don't know. Well, you told me the joke. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm going to press it with best press because I can and I want to. <laughs> oh, it's going to lay super flat forever. Okay. Oh, there they are. Like, nah, I lost my scissors. <laughs> Sean says, I need the I come with strings attached shirt. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, that should be on your website. That should be a shirt. It is a shirt. Oh, it is a shirt. Oh, yep. okay. I took it off. Oh. <laughs> it's, not, it's not on my website anymore. I took all my merch and just put it on my channel so you can find it down below. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ouch. All right, let's try this again. I just feel like best press and steam makes things lay so much flatter. Oh, yeah. Nothing like it. How many squares can we sew together in two hours? <laughs> 42 times four, that's how many. What is that? Eight? 42 times four is 84 plus 168. That's how many. Yep. What she said. <laughs> Sixty-eight. Well, Mary's helping me. Otherwise, it's only probably like a hundred. <laughs> <Dun, dun, dun. laughs> hey, this one sells pretty fast too. <laughs> Can't wait for Mama to be here next week. Yeah. It's going to be the Mama show on. The Mama show. The Mama show. She'll be like, all right, listen, give me the camera. <laughs> give me a microphone and just get out of my way. <laughs> I got to talk. <laughs> no, I'm just teasing. Yeah. <laughs> but it's been a minute. It's been a minute since she's been here and shared like all of the things that are going on in her life. So she's going to have all sorts of stories. Oh, boy. <laughs> Kathy says, I love the laughter. <laughs> uh, Mary says, have you found the double pointed, the double point on the iron to be helpful? You know, actually for the first time in forever, for the first time in forever. <laughs> um, actually, the first time I actually did use a double point today, I've had the iron for multiple years. And today is literally the first time that it came in handy. This is starting to get aggravating. 
<laughs> is it the tape? <laughs> it's the tape. Do you want some washi tape? Will that help? Nah. I'll just, I just got to hold it down better. That's all I got to do. Okay. I just got to do. Okay. okay. Whatever okay. you want to do then. Okay. Would you like some chalk? Uh, you could mark I, the lines with the chalk. Well, I had a chalk pen, chalk marker at home, and I tried to use it, and it wouldn't work. Oh, I'll show you what I use. And um, because I don't I use got a the chalk ch pen, I use this. Hold on, where is it? It is the Choco pen, which is da da da. Where'd you go? Listen, lady. <laughs> Here, this. That's the one. Oh no, that's not the one I have. So I'll show because people are going to ask. Wait, tell us what you're doing. It's got chalk dust inside of here and little tiny holes in here, and you just. <gasps> and it's white, and it just literally. Where were you four hours ago? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> <sighs> Is this a gift? No, this is not a gift. These are for me. You cannot have them. Sorry. <laughs> Although, ironically, I'm making eight placemats and giving away eight gifts tonight. <laughs> but it will not be the placemats. <laughs> nope. These are for my table only. Gosh, it's so beautiful. They are gorgeous. Okay. Now you need now, to make stockings to match. Well, I'm going to be out of this fabric, so I'll have to buy some of that Merry Little Christmas. There you go. Because it will coordinate. Bonnie and Camille is really good about keeping the same color palettes. So I have four of these pieced. This is the first one. That's the second. That's the third. That's the fourth. So what I'm going to do, not tonight on the live stream anyway, is I'm going to put all of these again i'm gonna i'm gonna what's the thing when you take the quilt top and the batting and the backing and you put it together and you yeah, put it yeah and then you put it inside <laughs> the thing with the needle with the thread and you do the thing on it what's that called oh yeah quilting quilt. yeah quilting <laughs> i'm gonna quilt them so when i quilt it i'm actually gonna do uh right along each of these um uh, blah 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 what was it called when the two fabrics go together what oh, in the seam. Ditch. oh seam <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna go a quarter inch away from every seam and so what you'll end up with is a little echo in each block in each box a little square that's basically echoing it. I think that'll look, I've done that with my other placemats. I like the way it looks. And I feel like it's a little bit easier to do than just running diagonals. Though you could totally just go corner to corner and just do some cross hatching. Um, Which is what I'm doing. Yeah, you do that too. So <laughs> either way works. That's I, I'll quilt them however I want. Uh, but before I quilt them, I'm probably going to tomorrow, because it took me about two hours to do this, I'm going to piece the other four and then I will quilt them all together. But before we end tonight, I want to show you the quilt that is coming off of the long arm, like literally right now, like literally, right? Cause it's not gonna be here next, next week. week cause <laughs> it's going to its forever home on Sunday because it is a quilt for my sister-in-law. This, if you guys, follow handmade by ying it will be very familiar to you because this is the bargello quilt that i did in her little zoom thing that she was doing on her channel where she brought everybody in to do these this is my bargello i'm gonna pull it off of the long arm right now <clears throat> What are you doing oh, over there? Gosh, this is gorgeous. <laughs> Do I really have to give this one away? Oh, yeah. And I was so worried. Listen, this is a story. This is a true story, guys. I was so... I had... See, I need to just bite the bullet. I did not load this on the long arm because I couldn't... I was so terrified that I wouldn't quilt it good enough. And... 
today I was like, well, my sister-in-law wants the quilt. She's not going to look at the stitching and be like, you didn't choose the right stitching pattern and then reject it. <laughs> she just wants, she wants this quilt. She wanted this quilt. So I was like, well, <laughs> by the way, yes, full pajamas. <laughs> You're welcome. You should so, have showed them the Christmas quilt, the wall hanging that you did last week. Do you want to go grab it? Yep, I'll go okay. grab it. Leave the 3M strips up there. So just like press the just... clip to let it fall. Okay. Um, so this is, this is the Bargello that I made on Donna's channel with her when she was doing the sew along. My sister-in-law saw it back in October and was like, I want that quilt and I want it for Christmas. So nothing like December 23rd to get the quilt off on the long arm, right? This is the quilt. Isn't it gorgeous? I'm looking to see if you got, you can see it is beautiful. Nope, nope, nope. And the quilting stitches that I did. <laughs> You can kind of see, Let's see, I just did loops and flowers all over it. I was worried. I was really, can you hold this up for me, Mary? Yep. I was really worried when I did this, that the quilting was going to take away from the focus of the quilt. And I just, Gorgeous. I just embraced it. So I was like, you know what? It doesn't matter. It's just going to be an all over stitch. I wanted Ew. to send it out to Tucker or to Beth from Goody Goods to do some custom quilting on it. And I just, I just decided, nope, I'm just going to do it. And these colors are definitely her colors. So, um, like, I love this quilt. I, <laughs> I would like to keep it for me, <laughs> but I am really happy that it's going to her because she's going to love it. It's going to, it's this, this speaks this speaks her 100%. And yeah, it's like, right here. it's like 90 some inches long. Like it is a big quilt. Gorgeous. It is really good. Like this is my first chance of it. I'm not even looking at you because I'm looking at it like, oh, not too bad. Mm -hmm. So I, what I was starting to say is I was really terrified to do anything with it because I was afraid I was going to ruin the quilt. And I just got it off of the long arm and I just embraced it and went with it. And, um, I'm glad I did. Let's turn it around and show them the back. Okay. So I chose a wide back in this really pretty blue. You can't really see the stitching in it, but you can see kind of the texture, I think. It matches the front of the quilt in the tension. Do you see how much better the tension is mm -hmm. on the back? I'm so glad I took the time oh, to get that tension right. Yep. Oh. On that oh. side over there on the front, there's a string at the towards the top that you need to clip yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. There's another one in here too where the oh, thread okay. broke. All right. Right here. Okay. So we'll do that. So tonight I will have to trim this up and create a custom label and put the binding on it. But that's not all. So the other thing that I did this week, so I'm doing my little bit of show and tell. The other thing that I did this week is I took the stocking quilt that I got in the ginger quilter box last November. I pieced this in an afternoon. This is a Lella Boutique or Vanessa Goatson um, pattern. It is, I think, called By the Chimney, and it is a mini. I did this quilt top last year, and it sat on my rack forever. And so last weekend, I took it, and I decided to quilt it. And so all I did was a meander in the background. And then I outlined the border in each stocking, and I used a wool batting. So the puffiness factor is really just popping. And then I did put a sleeve on the back. <laughs> Actually, my friend Mary put the sleeve on the back. <laughs> I tacked the binding down to the front and then passed it off to her. She's my binding fairy, if you will. <laughs> and she hand bound it to the back. So this now is hanging in our hallway by our front door, it's our Christmas quilt. And I'm really happy with this. So this has got a fun story for me because I pieced this in our new home and I quilted it in our new home. So this is one of the first quilt tops I made. I started, like I pieced here and it's, um, I did it last year, I finished it this year and it's, it's all good to go. And if you're curious, the fabric on the back is from the Peppermint Bark line by uh, Basic Gray for Moda Fabrics. And the sleeve and the binding is from Overnight Delivery, 
by Sweetwater. Those are both Christmas lines. This is a current one. This is a retired one. So that, this one turned out quite nicely. Thank you, miss. They both did. So those are the two quilts that I got done this week. I have a number of other quilts over there that need to get done. And now that the long arm is working properly, it's time. It is time to get them off of the rack and get them loaded on the long arm and just knock them out. So hopefully next week when we come back together, I'll have a quilt or two to show you at the end of that, that too. What's wrong, B So use? before we end, I have one more giveaway to do. I will add a label. Pat says, I hope you added a label. Not yet, but I will be print. I will be custom printing labels for both of these quilts to add. So if you have not already, we will resume entries for just a minute. If you have not already had a chance to pick out a, um, to get your gift ticket, exclamation gift, we'll hold that for just a minute. And then I will pick our final winner for tonight. And I think that will have been Come eight on. prizes. If oh, it's not, I'm sorry if I miscounted, but I think I will have given away eight prizes tonight. So see, you can do it if you try. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. I didn't ruin the quilt, you guys. I didn't ruin the quilt. And that is, that is the big takeaway for me. Like, and that's what I'm trying to share with you. Don't stress about how you're going to quilt it. Just quilt it. If you are worried that the stitches are going to show nicely or you don't like the quilt pattern, grab a thread that's gonna blend on most of your quilt top because all you're really doing is holding your layers together and adding texture. Don't think, don't overthink it. It's gonna take time and practice before you can get to that stage where you can do that absolutely amazing custom quilting in like designated areas. So um, yeah, don't overthink it. Anyway, <laughs> let's go ahead and pick our winner. This is our final winner for tonight. It is Brenda Womack. So Brenda, just can you say something in the chat to let me know that you are still here? Oh my gosh, this quilt is so cuddly. <laughs> like, and it's huge. Like, look at this. I know, this big one. Oh my gosh. Is that like a, is that a queen size or it's is it a full size? It probably size? could be close to queen size. Yeah. Yeah. Martha's Creative Life said, thank you, Becca. I stressed so much about my Grinch quilt and I just went for it and I love it so much. See? See? Absolutely. <laughs> um, do we have time for sew and tell tonight? People are asking if we're going to do sew and tell. I have, I don't know that I have everything set up for that. Let's see if Brenda Womack is in the chat first. I don't know if I have. It's been a little while since I've done a sew and tell. So yeah, I kind it's of been feel... a couple of weeks at least. Yeah, maybe I'll try to do that. I just have to get the window set up while I'm waiting to see if Brenda Womack is here with us today. There we go. That'll work. That works. Brenda Womack, you are here. Great. Okay, so we're going to complete that one. Brenda, email me your physical mailing address at Becca at SoBecca.com. And while we are here and I've got all the technology working, cross your fingers, we'll go ahead and do a little bit of sew and tell. So if you haven't shared in the chat, go ahead and post your pictures of what you're working on. Maybe it's a Christmas gift that you're going to give away in a couple days, like what I'm doing right here. I would love to see them. Now's your chance to show the whole world. So let's do it. We have got, dun, da, da, da. all right. So Ronnie Nicole says she's making baby doll quilts for the littles. <laughs> Very cute. Let me also change this to a uh, new post so I get everything in here. There we go. Uh, Claudia Simpson, oh no, we missed you, Claudia. Listen, Claudia, if you tuned back in, email me your physical mailing address at Becca at SoBecca.com. You won a prize. But you weren't here, and if I do get an email from you by Sunday, I will send you something anyway. No more Christmas projects, she said, have moved on to Valentine's Day. It's a snow day here in Michigan, so sewing all day, have enough blocks for a quilt and two table runners, one to keep and one to give away. Awesome. Katie says, one of my current works in progress. I still have to put sashing in between three more rows, then design this part of the quilt 
Then the design for this part of the quilt will be done and I'll be working on the borders after that. I am enjoying the simplicity of this quilt pattern. The pattern is by Tiffany and it's called Party Mix. Jennifer Torney, hello Jennifer, finally got these orphan blocks from four different quilts into its own scrappy creation. I tried a fleece backing for the first time as well as machine binding. Fleece was a breeze to work with or to quilt with, but my machine binding skills leave much to be desired. It was an experiment from start to finish. Oh, uh, Mary, Mary says, Merry Christmas, everyone. Thanks, Becca. You're a wonderful person. Thank you so much. Go for the sew and tell. Yes, let's do it. <laughs> Here is, so, see, Claudia has just been working away tonight. She probably doesn't even, wasn't even getting to the chat. She's too busy sewing. So busy. she can just email me and I'll send her a, uh, I'll send her her little prize. All right, we're going to go back up, refresh, see what else we've got in the chat. I love seeing what you guys are working on because it makes me feel like I wasn't sewing alone. Oh my goodness. Anthea Mitchell says, this just got back from the long armor. Now she has to bind it before Christmas. See, look, and that's a relatively simple design. It's just a really big loop-de-loop, -loop, which is going to leave the quilt nice and fluffy and nice and warm. So, gosh, I love that. That's really pretty. Darlene Rice finished this gift. It's some, oh, those are, that's foundation paper piecing. She's made some tigers with some... Uh, Chinese, Japanese, I don't even know what, I, I can't read it, so I don't know what I'm looking at. All right, let's go back over here. Uh, Carissa has posted a picture of a beautiful quilt. This is a great way to use some squares. So she's taken squares and made rows of it. And then as like, she put a four patch in the middle and then bordered it with some white and then bordered that with squares and then bordered, that's really neat. Yeah, that does look like Chinese. I see the tigers. Yeah. <laughs> Deborah says, Becca inspired this parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme version of your Monica quilt. Thank you for the inspiration. <laughs> you're welcome, and I'm glad you got it done. Susan Yearout says, some of my Christmas projects. She's made a pot holder, a gingerbread man that has a pin sticking into his body, <laughs> and this lovely catch-all. <laughs> We're back to the one from Anthea, which we already saw. We saw the one from Darlene. We saw the one from Ronnie. We saw Katie's. We saw, oh, here's Jennifer's progress. She's got the quilt top. Looks like finished here. Beautiful. Oh, it's not pretty. quilt top. It's a full quilt. Sorry. And the red fleece is really nice. I like that color. There's the layout. Thank you for following me. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Let's refresh and see what else we've got in here. Barbara McCauley doing some embroidery and bags for presents. <laughs> she has one that says proud member of the naughty list. <laughs> That's fun. Fun. All right. We've got a member request. Let's see who's waiting there. Glenda, we've got you in. If you want to share some pictures, you're able to do that now. Deb Rhodes has shared a sampler quilt. I love this. I don't even know if you can see uh, when I do that, you can't see it all the way. So she's got, I've seen this done before in borders where the border kind of looks like a ribbon going all the way around the quilt. I want to do that one day. I think that's really pretty. Paula Whedon is working on some gifts for her sister. It looks like a hot pad or a table topper, or a mini quilt, or a number of other things. There's Brenda with her proud member of the naughty list towel. <laughs> Donna says, Merry Christmas to everyone. Stay warm and safe. Hope everyone's electricity is back on soon. Absolutely. Hildy says, those are beautiful. I love all the quilts everybody's doing. Carissa loves the ribbon border, right? Me too. Oh, Darlene Rice has a beautiful quilt. She made this for her daughter earlier this month. Uh, it looks like little candies, little peppermint candies. Michelle Autry pulled an all-nighter to finish these in time for my dad to send for Christmas. Looks like a table topper and some placemats. 
Oh, another member request. Let's get you guys in. Katrina and Brenda, we've got both of you. Feel free to share your pictures in the Facebook group, and I'll just keep going until there's nothing else to share. Tamela, Tamela, I think it's Tamela. Finding now by oil lamp. Oh, look at this. This is so cute. Do you guys see the bumblebees on her backing? Oh, my God. Oh, so pretty. <laughs> Lots of beautiful stars. Let's see what else we've got. I think that's it. I think we are caught up. I'll give it a couple more minutes and refresh before we call it a night, though, because you never know what's going to come in, right? Thank you, Becca, for a fun night and keep up the fun flat Jenny for two more days. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to join, show's pending, but it didn't ask me questions. Yeah, it doesn't ask questions, I don't believe. You should be in now, though, Amy. I don't see any pending requests. Quilting Girl 11 says, Merry Christmas, everyone. Jane Rinke says, I didn't know you had a Facebook page. I'll hop over and sign up. You're so fun. Thank you. Sean says, such talent here. Always nice to see what everyone is working on. I agree, Sean. This is one of my favorite things about doing the live streams is seeing what everybody was working on while I was working on my own project because then I feel like I was sewing with all of you. All right, I think that's all we've got. Just gonna, I'm trying to hover here. I know a few people came in and I want to give them the chance to showcase. Here's Here we go. I want to give them a chance to showcase what they've been working on. Carla Walker, these are projects from December 2022. She's got lots of fun things here. And it looks like some improv precing with some red line work. Really nice. Very pretty. I'll kind of hang on that page for just a minute. I wonder, since the chat box doesn't seem to be working the way I would like it to, I wonder if I can now go in and click on eat. Oh, I can, I can, I can. So what I'll do is move this over here and this kind of there a little bit. And now we can see... You guys like seeing everything being resized, like, <laughs> live? <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> okay, so this is the first one, and we'll kind of click through them one at a time. That makes it easier, doesn't it? Oh, wow. Look at that. I love all the red and white. And that looks like she used some of the Christmas morning fabric from Lelo Boutique for the binding. You're welcome. No day. There's her red line work. Look at that placemat or that patchwork play, uh, pillow that she did with the red and the white. That's really pretty. Yeah. Reindeer school. That's cute. Very pretty. <laughs> Let's refresh the screen, see what else comes in. Anything else? Oh, Ashley May, my first disappearing nine patch quilt. Coming out quite nice. Good job. Carissa Renning, Renninger. I've seen this pattern pop up. It's the Sawtooth Stars where you only have uh, two sets instead of four sets of star legs. I want to do one of these. I think this would be a lot of fun. I think it's really easy to do. Got a couple of people. Glenda, Jane. And Susie, you are in the group. We're going to change this back to new posts. Hildy says, I'm working on a quilt and it has cross stitching in it because I'm doing cross stitching and quilting at the same time. I hope I get it finished for Christmas. Better work uh -oh. fast. You're up against the wire. <laughs> uh oh, I ran out of bobbins red. There should be some wound bobbins on the top of the machine up on the right. Yes. All right. I think that's it. Anybody else going to slide in at the minute? Kaleidoscope of stars is the pattern, Carissa says. I'll have to remember that. 
think that's it. All right, well, we're gonna we're gonna call it a night here. So here's the beauty of it. If I didn't get a chance to show off your project, face group the Facebook group is always there. Feel free to post whatever you want in the group. Share share away. Be kind, of course, but um, you can share your projects in there anytime. And if you happen to share it on a Friday night when I am live streaming, I like to show off what you're doing. So just keep that in mind. Thank you, friends, for hanging out with Mary and I both tonight. From both of us to from our homes to yours, have a happy Christmas, a wonderful new year, and I'll see you guys in about a week. Bye.